Hello, my name is Chris Colotti, and I'm a Principal Technical Marketing Architect for vCloud Hybrid Service here at VMware. Today, I want to give you an introductory overview of the Disaster Recovery to Cloud service. Disaster Recovery to Cloud offers VMware vSphere customers the ability to protect their on-site business critical workloads and recover them in the cloud in the event of a local disaster or disruptive event. We're going to cover a couple of things as we go. Really quickly, we'll see how to configure a site, how to configure replication, and actually how to do a test and an actual failover. So let's get started. So one of the really interesting things about this new disaster recovery to cloud service that we want to highlight is the ease of use. And one of the technologies that we're using is our own vSphere replication, which makes it storage agnostic. So this is something anybody who has vSphere on premise could use because we're going to be replicating, one, using our own appliance, two, over the internet. And at the same time, we're going to be encrypting that traffic which makes the version of the vSphere appliance that we deploy a little bit different than one you may have been using. So if you're not familiar with vSphere replication, there's a lot of documentation out there about it, but this is actually a product that was originally derived from the Site Recovery Manager family, but has a lot of feature sets that we decided to deploy and use for the disaster, disaster recovery to cloud service. But really quickly, I want you to see how easy it is to get this set up and running to get a virtual machine replicating. So once it's installed and configured, you're simply going to click Configure Replication on any virtual machine. The difference between this and the old version is we can now do replication to a cloud provider and select that target and essentially pick that as our destination to send our virtual machines to. So where we used to just do replication between vCenters, we can now actually do it from vCenter to a cloud. So now that we've done that really easy configuration on the virtual machine to start replication, we can see that it's already started to do its initial full sync out to disaster recovery to cloud service inside vCloud hybrid service. If we jump over to our virtual data center, just to validate this, we can actually see examining this cloud here that is actually set up for disaster recovery. When we look at our replication in virtual machines, we'll see that we now have a placeholder for that virtual machine and we can sit back and wait for that replication to complete. But essentially, we've now started our disaster recovery process. So now that we've actually configured our virtual machine and it's fully synchronized, we can do a quick test failover to see that everything is operating as planned. So all we're going to do is initiate uh, a very quick run test recovery operation. Uh, we're going to fill in a few pieces of quick information for our username and password to our vCloud hybrid service tenant. And we're going to pick one or two recovery options just to get this going. And in this case, we're just going to let it do a synchronized recent changes. And we're ready to complete. And essentially, our test failover has begun. And when it's finished, we can take a look at some settings. So we've actually time lapsed this a little bit to make sure that this actually finishes its test failover. But really quickly, uh, we can now take a look at the edit details of this virtual machine to verify that our networks are properly configured and they are attached to our test network as expected. And if we wanted to, we could change the network settings, but we're not going to bother with that right now. We're going to leave it as the default because this is just a test. And we're going to go ahead and power on this virtual machine. Uh, and we're not going to show it, but you'd be able to go into this and see all of the functions and operations happening as if it was back on premise. And the final step, now that we've basically started our replication, we've initiated a test failover, we've verified that everything works, is we just have to do a very simple cleanup operation, which is running the test cleanup inside uh, the vCenter client. It's going to remove uh, all the data from the test on vCloud hybrid service. And in the background, the, can, the uh, replication hasn't ever stopped, so it's just going to continue. And we can see that uh, our virtual machine is back to normal operations. So now finally, the last thing we want to show you about disaster recovery to cloud service is an actual failover, uh, moving the VM permanently into vCloud hybrid service. So it looks a little bit similar to test, except there's a lot, few, a lot less options. We're going to select planned recovery in this case because we are knowingly failing over this virtual machine. And we see the only options we have is to initiate a guest shutdown. And we're going to select that and finish. And what will happen is this will start the full recovery process with a little bit of a warning here that's telling us that this is going to completely move the source virtual machine. And that planned migration will begin, and we'll be able to leverage that virtual machine and the vCloud hybrid service on the other side. So now, just like in the test option, we see that it's now been recovered. 
we can take a look at its settings similar to the test, but we're going to see that the network settings are now attached to the recovery network as opposed to the test network. And just like before, we could uh, decide to change our IP settings and our network that we want to attach this to. But we're going to leave it as a default. And we're going to go ahead and power this one on. And now this virtual machine has been permanently moved to the disaster recovery to cloud service for us to use until our on-premise site comes back online. And now the last thing I just want to point out is now that this virtual machine has been permanently moved to the disaster recovery to cloud service, the only option we have left in vCenter when it comes back online is to actually stop replication. Although there's no replication happening, we would use that option to perform a full failback. That concludes this introduction to the disaster recovery to cloud service. I really hope this has given you a good introduction to the capabilities of the service, and I want to thank you for watching. For more detailed tutorials about this service, please visit vcloud.vmware.com tutorials.